What's going on, everybody? So we got some new Guns N' Roses news this morning. So you remember the lawsuit that Chris Pittman filed against Axl Rose over unpaid money? Well, apparently it looks like it's been settled according to TMZ. Now, Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose has reportedly settled the legal action taken by a band's former uh, instrumentalist, Chris Pittman. It's funny, some news sites, I think TMZ referred to Chris Pittman as ex roadie And then it says, back in September, it was reported that Pittman was seeking compensation for unpaid debt over services he provided to the group. According to the Pittman, Rose wrote him a permissionary note for $125,000 he was owed for over a year's worth of work, with a deadline to pay being October 2012. But Rose failed to do so, and he did not pay by the deadline, which led to the instrumentalist taking legal action, seeking over $163,000. TMZ reports that the two musicians reached a settlement earlier in November and that the case has been dismissed. Terms of the settlement were confidential, but TMZ stated that Rose paid less than the $163,000 sought to the final suit. And as you guys remember, Pittman's been in GNR since 1998. He performed with the group as a second keyboardist, second bassist, and a backing vocalist. By the way, if you've, seen, if you've heard some of his singing, it's pretty atrocious, especially I think in the Vegas shows they did in 2014, you can hear his singing. I'm glad Melissa Reese is the one doing the backup vocals and no longer Chris Pittman. And then, of course, he added percussion and programming at the band's shows. It initially appeared that he was going to be part of the 2006 reunion shows. But then, as you guys remember, he tweeted back in March or April that the reunion was a money grab and a nostalgia, nostalgia tour. He then apologized and blamed it on the alcohol. And, uh, you know, Pittman said, and of course, Pittman has not been part of any 2016 show with Melissa Reese taking on those duties. So let me know your guys' inf uh, thoughts on this. Uh, I'm not surprised they settled because if they went to court, you know, by the time he plays legal, legal fees, that 163000 would have been a lot less. So they probably made him a deal and said, listen, we want to go to trial. You don't have to pay lawyers. You know, it's kind of, I'm curious to see how much he actually got. But uh, I know a lot of people in the GNR community are not happy about Chris Pittman being part of the band. I'm probably one of those people included. Um, so let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. And as always, make sure you subscribe for the latest GNR news. Take care.